The music you just heard being played was Speechless from the 2019 Disney movie Aladdin, and the piano that it was being played on is a C. Beckstein Concert A192. As you can hear, this is not the average sound you get out of a piano of this size. It's 192 centimeters, and sometimes pianos of that size can be a little iffy. However, that is not the case with C. Beckstein. I absolutely adore the sound of this piano. The mid-range is beautiful and pure, and but also warm. The bass sound on it is very respectable for a piano of this size and has a nice, solid, satisfying sound. And the treble has that typical German icy, crystalline, cold sound that is really lovely to hear. Let me play my treble test piece here on this instrument, and then you will really hear a bit more of the instrument and see how that treble and the mid-range also sounds. I just absolutely love playing this C. Beckstein piano. It's, it honestly has the performance, with the exception of the bass end, which of course has a smaller piano sound. With the exception of the bass end, it honestly has the performance of a concert grand. The action is regulated nearly to perfection. It's it's, the feel of it is a little bit on the heavier side, but it is very, very responsive. It's not heavy. It's kind of in between light and heavy. It's on the lighter end of things, but starting to move towards what I would consider being heavy. But it has an extremely responsive feel. As you can see here, it doesn't take much effort at all for those keys to start moving down. They really do have a fantastic feel, and I love playing the piano. The action is a massive benefit to a piano when it has a good action. It's your link to the instrument, and if that link isn't very good, if the action isn't well regulated, even if the piano sounds good, you can be fooled into thinking it sounds bad because the action is poor. However, this piano has a fantastic action that's a dream to play, and it just makes the playing experience so much better than it would be if the piano only sounded as good as it did, but it had a bad action. The action just really increases the playing experience, gives me an excellent, excellent dynamic range, and really makes it wonderful to play. I mentioned the bass end on here on this piano and that it's very respectable for a piano of this size. Let me show you that again with the bass test piece that I have.
for such a relatively small piano, it's a lot smaller certainly than a concert grand, which is nine feet long. It really has an excellent, excellent sound from the bass, at least from what I can tell here at the NAMM show. Really, really wonderful to play. And I love playing it so much that I want to play it more. So here's a little bit of Debussy's Claire de Lune. It's just, I don't even know what to say about it. I really, really enjoy this piano a whole lot. Really great to play. Wonderful, wonderful piano. But so far, I've really only played quiet stuff with the exception of the beginning with Speechless. Let's play the entire third movement of Moonlight Sonata on this instrument and see how it does with that. Thank you. 
When I play the third movement of Moonlight Sonata or any long five minute complicated classical piece, there's usually two reasons why I don't play the full piece. One reason can be that I don't like the piano as much as other pianos and the instrument isn't handling that piece very well, so it's not fun to play. The other option is that I don't have a lot of time and I want to move on from this booth and not take too much time at said booth. However, here at Siebeckstein, the folks have been treating me very, very nicely. It's a bit of a quiet day, so there's not a whole lot going on, and I also adore playing this piano. So with all three of those things combined, I've spent a whole lot of time here on this A192 and spent a long time playing this piano. It's a dream to play. It really is. It's definitely one of the best pianos of the size here at the NAMM show. It's really, really great, wonderful to play, and if you guys ever see a Siebeckstein, in a piano store, definitely take some time to play it because I think you too will fall in love with the sound. So here's a look at the inside of the C. Beckstein piano that I was just playing. As you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. Everything here is absolutely brand new and it looks really pretty. One thing I want to point out is that it has this traditional German uh, feature of having a wooden interior to the piano while the outside of it is the polished um, black look. This is very common. You'll see this on Hamburg Steinways and on C. Becksteins and on many, many other European pianos. It's a very common thing to do there and some American makers and makers from other countries are doing this as well, but it kind of originated in Europe and it's a very, very old tradition that C. Beckstein continues to this very day and it's a very nice touch. Another thing that's interesting here is C. Beckstein on this particular piano is using a dark blue felt to help dampen the non-speaking parts of the strings, which is kind of interesting. I've seen C. Becksteins in the past with green felt as well, so at some point they've made the switch over to a dark blue, which is very nice, a little bit reminiscent of Blutner, although Blutner uses a more of a bright blue blue and C. Beckstein is using like a dark navy blue which is a very nice color. So that's just a look at the inside here of the C. Beckstein. Really pretty, really lovely piano. I absolutely love it. Another cool, cool feature over here, hopefully you can see this, is that there's actually three uh, different lid props which I've never seen on a piano of this size. Usually you'll see this on, you know, a concert grant where you have a little tiny lid prop a medium lid prop and then the big one but this is like a six foot piano it's 192 centimeters it's about maybe six foot four or five six something like that and it also has a third lid prop which i think is a pretty nice touch and i've never seen that before on a piano of this size massive thank you to c beckstein who has been very accommodating here um and very friendly here at the NAMM show, and there may be some cool stuff coming up in the future featuring C. Beckstein. So if any of that sounds cool, you might want to check out my channel if you haven't already. I've got lots of cool videos of pianos, organs, keyboards, digital pianos, and most everything else in between. So if any of that sounds cool, you might want to think about subscribing. If you do subscribe, thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.